Hey guys, so I had a dream and I started, pulled up my notes on my phone and started typing it out real quick because I, I never want to forget this dream. And I got close to finishing it and I knew that I should record this dream. I'm not sure if I want to post it or not. I, I'm going to pray about it. But so I, I woke up from the stream. 15 minutes ago. It starts out, I'm on this motorcycle, like a street bike, and I'm just cruising, I'm doing the speed limit, that's what I was doing on the on the bike, I know I was doing the speed limit. This is down an old, not a back road, highway, but uh, like a two lane highway. Uh, I know some people who are in the cities don't like understand those, but they're just like two lanes. And one goes one way, one goes the other, and they're both highways. For the most part, they're around 55 miles an hour. Um, so anyway, I'm doing about 55 on this bike, the street bike that I'm on. It has a cruise control on it. So I'm cruising on this 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 highway. This highway is one that's around here. I know it very well. And I'm going. It's kind of... I guess somewhat early in the morning, it's probably about the same time it is now. Where there's almost like a, like a, not like a fog, but like almost a mist in the air. And I'm, it's a nice day, I'm just cruising along, I'm, you know, looking at the scenery like you do on a, like on a motorcycle. I used to have a motorcycle, I loved it. And I look to my left, and it's not the area where this highway is. It's, this is, what I see is almost like, like 20 or 30 miles away, like where you see something in the distance and it's like hazy. I see like the, like the Grand Canyon and I'm in awe a little bit like, wow, that's, that's pretty. And I only think about this for a second. I turn back and I'm more focused on the road and I'm coming up to a part that I know is dangerous. It's, a, it's an S turn, a very popular S turn that's notorious for accidents and taking lives. And the speed limit changes. It goes 55, 45, 35, 30. And once you come up, come back around the S turn, it goes back up to 45, 55. So I'm going and I'm downshifting, going, you know, we're taking it slow, taking it easy because I know I know these corners. I get to 35. I put it on cruise control. I know I can take these corners at 35. 30s, kind of too slow. So I'm taking it. Well, I'm not taking it yet, so I'm getting close, and all of a sudden, this bike guns it. It goes full throttle, and the bike is very stable. I doesn't. It's hard to explain. I I know I'm doing 35. I look down and I see 35 stolen speedometer, but I can hear the bike punch it, and I also feel the speed. But I also don't feel the speed. It's, it, was, it was very strange. So I'm, I'm coming on the first corner of the S. And I'm going fast, but I take it. I'm, I'm coming towards the next one, and I'm going even faster. And I know I can't take this corner, and I lose it. And at the exact moment I lose it, I think in my head, when are they going to fix this corner? When are they going to put some kind of barrier up, something to stop accidents from happening here? Because around this corner, there's just a field and then trees. So if someone loses it there, they're going into the trees. And that's what I did. I fly into these trees. And at the tree tree edge, the bike's here, the trees you know start here, and I'm in, I'm like right here laying down. I know I I know I hit the trees, but I didn't feel nothing. I'm gonna look at my notes real quick. I'm I hope I didn't get ahead of myself there. Okay, no, I didn't. So that's good. So as I hit the ground, I don't feel it. I don't feel any pain, but I know I'm laying down and I know the bike's at my feet. All I can visually see is just like my ankles and my feet and a little bit, maybe half my shins down is what I can see. And the rest is kind of like not blurred out, but it's just like the only visual I have in the stream. The next thing that happens in the stream is I'm 
I can, I'm hearing a conversation in the future. About an hour into the future, the two, there's two cops and one car. They're, they're the first responders on, this, on the scene. They're giving an interview to a news, a news agency. And the, one of the cops says that if anyone had seen this kid's body, they would have threw up. I'm taken back into the present, but about an eighth of a mile away, I could see these cops sitting in their car. So at this S turn, when it finishes, it goes to a straightaway. And they're about midway in the straightaway, kind of tucked back a little bit, kind of shooting radar. They hear the accident, so they're, but they hear it and they know it was bad. Just their expressions on their face said everything. Like, they've been there enough, they know what an accident sounds like. So they're kind of hesitant to come up to the scene, but they know they have to. So they pull up to it kind of far away. They get out, and they're walking side by side. One cop sees me first, and he just does one of those, where he turns away and kind of like just grabs himself. The other cop, when he notices this cop does it, he knows that it's bad. So he stops, he turns around as well, and they're just... They're preparing themselves for what they're about to see. And the cop says, this kid didn't make it, he's dead. At that moment, I hear them say this, and I get up, and I instantly know I'm dead as well. I can, there's, like, the accident that happened, I know I'm dead. And I start thinking about my family, my wife, my kid, our dogs. Just everything in life, I start thinking about it like, oh my gosh, they're like, what are they going to do without me? I'm going to miss them so much. Like, what am I going to do when I'm dead? And then I instantly, instantly, as soon as I thought about that, I'm like, but I'm dead. Like, isn't there a light at the end of the tunnel? You know, I, I think of that cliche. And I, I look around, I look around, I look into the forest, and I see this light. It's, from a distance, it looks... I guess the, the color may be red. And I see it in... It's it's back into the forest, like you're looking into a forest, like there's trees everywhere, but this light is illuminating. And I know it's a per, like a silhouette of a person. As soon as I see it, I, I'm there. I don't know if I ran, walked, flew, I'm there. And I scream Jesus. And I grab onto him. Like, I have never hugged someone in my life. And I start, I'm not crying. There was no tears. It's, I know that if I had this, these emotions outside of this dream, I would have cried. For sure. I'm, I'm not on the ground. I'm both legs, both arms around him. Like, just like grabbing whatever shirt or something he was wearing, I was squeezing it and just, mm, 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 just with sheer excitement and love and undescribable emotions. Cause I, I'm more amazed that I didn't cry than anything. And that's kind of strange, but I was so happy to see him. And I, it's, somewhere along the lines like maybe a few seconds after doing this and like like the, the groaning and like like overwhelming emotions I think that I'm not I can't be dead like this isn't real like this isn't how it how it happened like how like everything was wasn't real enough for this for this to be real and I'm like as soon as I kind of start thinking about this I wake up and I'm like Okay, I, I knew I knew that was a dream. I knew it was a dream in the dream the whole time, but the instant I screamed Jesus and went to him for a split second, I wanted that to be real because of how it felt. Nothing like that has ever made me feel that way ever. When I woke up, I grabbed my phone and started pulled out my notes on my phone and started typing out this dream because I, I never want to forget this dream. It ha it's going to have that much, that impact on me. 
I'm not sure what to make of the stream yet. Uh, I just wanted to get a a good reminder of this stream. I didn't want it, it just just to be on the notes. I wanted a video of this so I can I can take in the emotions that I had today, and I want to watch this again someday. 